Hi, it's Chris P. Williams here from Fried Egg Studios. I hope you're well. Um, today we're going to be looking at perspective projection in Affinity Photo. Now today's image isn't that interesting, I'm afraid, um, but it does fit our purposes for this exercise. What I'm going to try and do is clone a window, either this one or this one, into this empty space in the middle of this wall. And traditionally, what I do is I create a new layer and then I would use my clone tool to copy either or of these windows into that space. And then I'd use the uh, move and transform tools to get the window um, the right shape and dimension to sit with the perspective of the rest of the image. And that, believe me, is quite a potchy job. But fortunately, we have perspective projection within Affinity Photo that makes this task a lot easier. First of all, I'm going to duplicate my background, which is select the background in Command and J or Control and J on Windows. We can then go to our layer light projection and perspective projection and we're presented with this wireframe. Now we just want to move this wireframe around the area that we want to work on um, ensuring that all four corners represent the actual perspective of the frame. Now if that doesn't make sense it will in a little while. You can see what I'm, what I'm trying to do is the lines here for instance on our um, second topmost horizontal I'm trying to line up with the window cells and Likewise, this edge, this vertical on the right, I'm trying to line up with the corner of the wall. And if I zoom in, you can see that's pretty much spot on. And again, here, I'm going to line up the left vertical with the, with the drain pipe. And I think that's looking quite good. Yep, I think that's good. So to commit to that selection, we now need to just click on our Move tool. We're presented then with the selection minus the perspective if that makes sense. You can see it's flattened the image out for us and all of these windows are now the same size and the window sills are all level as are the plimps on this chimney stack which makes cloning a damn sight easier. Right, before I proceed I'm going to click on our corrected layer and I'm going to press Command and J to duplicate it and Control A to select all and delete. So I'm basically copying all of the perspective properties of the layer below but removing any of the pixels. We've now got a blank image with the same perspective qualities. And what that will allow us to do is to clone our image into place and then edit it separately from the layer below. And we're going to crack on now with the clone tool. Um, actually, before I use the clone tool, I'm just going to go to view and go to my guide manager. And I'm going to add a horizontal guide and press close. Go to our move hover over the guide we've just created and I'm going to move it so that it's just between the the tops of these two wire window frames or these wrought iron window frames and that's my guide for my for my starting point for my clone so I'm going to return to my clone tool I'm going to make sure I have current and layer current layer and below selected and I'm going to alt click at the top of this wrought iron frame and I'm going to start roughly in the middle of these two pillars, but I'm using the backs of the pillars as a guide for my start point. It doesn't have to be too accurate because, like I said, we can turn it, we can move this around later on as it is now a separate layer, hence a reason for duplicating the layer. And we'll just paste away. I said paste again, didn't I? That's a bad habit I've got. All my videos I say paste instead of clone. I think you catch my drift, but let's clone away anyway. Okay, we've got the bottom of our window frame, we've got the edge of our window frame, and we've got all of our wrought iron in place, and that looks like a good copy. Okay, now we can zoom in on this because it is a separate layer, and we can go to our erase tool, reduce the size of our brush, and we can just erase the areas of our clone that we don't need. I'm not going to spend too much time on this because it's not important with regard to demonstrating the um, perspective projection tool, but I'll, I'll get it as tidy as I can in the time constraint that we've got. Okay, that's looking good to me. I'm just going to go to view and I'm going to go to my guide manager and I'm going to remove all my guides and close because it's a little bit distracting. So I'll erase that area just around there and that looks pretty good. Now, 
because we've got all of these windows on the same plane, I can now use my clone tool just to make this window look slightly different from the one on the left, which we, we copied from. And to do this, I'm gonna alt click on the window sill below the window on the right. I'm gonna line it up with the visible line in the middle of this frame. And I'm just gonna paste a little bit of the grunge from that window onto this one. And also I'll alt click on the center of that diamond, just with a view to getting rid of that little bit of residue that was on the original original window frame. And the two windows now look uh, different enough to, to be convincing. And once we're happy, we can now control and D, we can go to layer and we can go to light projection and we can say remove projection say whoa what's happened there that looks a bit weird and it does look a bit weird and the reason being it's only transformed the top selection so now we need to go to the original layer where we created our perspective projection again go to layer light projection and remove projection and there we have it both these layers are now aligned and we have our new window in place and you can see perspectively speaking it's in line and it's the right size and the right ratio you can see it's a far lot easier than using a clone tool um, by itself to achieve a similar result so i, I hope that explains to you um, how to use the uh, perspective projection tool if there are any other videos you'd like me to produce um, for affinity photo drop me a line in the comments and i'll, I'll see what i can do for you okay thanks very much for watching